Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Boxer, the Technical Trader. It's Wednesday, the 27th of January. These are the charts of the day. Um, today we see a theme yeah, in the uh, charts that I'm presenting to you, and those are ma mainly because the, most of them are either junior oils or, or junior biotechs. Interesting. Um, but I am going to feature uh, several longs for you to take a look at, as I believe the market has a chance of bouncing back in the last couple sessions, next couple sessions, and may be good for short-term swing-type trading. Um, in front of us, you have Amlin Pharmaceuticals. Now, Amlin's been in a base pattern uh, for about a year. Finally broke out here and moved across resistance, backed off a couple times, stair-stepped its way higher. Yesterday, gapped up, pulled back today, but came about 50 cents off its low. And uh, on the session, it still appears to be in a mode where it can move higher. I have a target around the 23 level um, short term, and um, current support is around the uh, 16 and a half area. Um, Kellen Petroleum, CPE, had a significant day today. Notice the um, year plus base. Today it broke out across the, the September highs to new six month highs and should be testing shortly the 315 20 zone that it reached in May. A breakout above that and the stock can begin to accelerate. Um, my secondary targets, uh, once it gets past there, are five and then seven. We'll see. What we get with that one as we go forward. EXXI Energy 21, um, oil and gas uh, service company, uh, really beautiful rising channel. Uh, lateral price resistance was taken out when it moved out across these lines in here. We had a price breakaway gap and surge about two weeks ago, and since then it's been coiling or flagging on low volume and looking good. Today, jumped 24 cents. And at the top of this pattern, next move, looking for something close to four and three quarters, and secondary target up around the six dollar level, um, are, are designated at this point. <clears throat> Holosys, H O L I, one of the stronger Chinese stocks. Notice the um, uh, slight angle of descent uh, to the bottom of the channel over the course of the last couple of months, consolidating the big run it had earlier in the year, uh, having run from two to thirteen. But now it looks like it's ready to move towards the top of the channel uh, for the next leg up uh, with a target around 17 and a half. If that's if it gets to the 13 and a half November highs. <clears throat> Map Pharma. Um, after breaking out of a very nice seven month basing formation, which followed the big breakaway gap here last May, Map broke hard, a big volume, settled back for a couple days and then ran for four days over the last six, seven sessions. Consolidating very bullishly, underlying techs holding up wonderfully. This looks like a 18 to 20 dollars stock down the road. Those are my targets on MAPP. Mac Moran Exploration. After breaking out of a beautiful base, with a price volume surge, breakaway gap, from the rising flag broke out, backed off, and is now forming another kind of little mini flag or coil on very low volume, with underlying technicals holding up very well. My targets on this are. <clears throat> 18 and 20, maybe as high as 22, 3 down the road. Momenta Pharma, MNTA, also break, broke out of a beautiful one year base, formed the bull flag, broke out of the bull flag, spiked up three days ago, and then backed off. But look at the little mini flag or consolidation formation here on low volume with technicals holding up very well. Look for a quick retest of 16 and a half if that's taken out. Targets are 18 and 20. Nectar Pharmaceuticals also broke out of a beautiful basing coil type pattern with a price volume surge from the rising flag, then backed off on very, very quiet, narrow action, and today popped 20 cents, maybe beginning a move. I, I'm a believer that this stock has the um, possibilities of moving to 16. My trading target beyond that, something in the high teens. Real Networks. Is, um, popped out of the wedge that it was in for the last couple months, and now it's formed a beautiful two-week flag. I'm looking for a breakout that takes us up towards the six-dollar range. RX side, pharmaceuticals broke out in December, pulled back in low volume, and then broke out again, pulling back again right now and formed the bull flag. Looks like another wave up should take this to the seven and a half, seven and a half zone thereabout for a 50% move. Beyond that, targets up around nine or ten. Salic Pharmaceuticals, been a fantastic stock all year, has moved from 
um, about the five and a half range to nearly 30. Currently holding up very well in the face of the declining market. And um, I'm just about at the multi-year highs here that could take this one to mid-channel at 33, 34, and eventually something to 40 plus. Spreadstream Communications, it's PRD, after coiling or consolidating for a few months, has broken out, pulled back, ran up to new highs, and now it's been flagging above the previous breakout point. Top of the channel measures up around 10 plus, and that's my target going forward. Toriador Resources, um, in a beautiful rising channel all year, has moved from 2 to 13 plus. Recently, pop broke out to new highs, has formed a beautiful four-day flag in here on low volume. This one looks like a $16.5, $17 stock, uh, my short-term target. And lastly, Zeratex XRTX, which um, is a current portfolio position in a beautiful rising channel. Testing support here, but I believe that it moves up and out and gets up towards 20 for next trading target. That's it for today. Some long ideas, uh, mainly in the junior oil and junior biotech sector.